Right then. Where's right. the content? Where did it go, Matt? Well, yeah, well like Barra said, it, it's when it's ready. Yeah, which is, I think, the uh, especially in today's climate, I think the best thing you could possibly say about anything video game related. It's like, when's it done? When it's ready. You're like, I have no argument against that. Outside of make it ready a bit faster. But like, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if that's yeah, not feasible, yeah. then it's going to be shit. Yeah. So we don't want that. Would you rather have it when it's ready or when it's not ready? <laughs> it's, it's actually a pretty good tactic. to go, what, do you want it when it's not ready? You're like, fuck, good point. <laughs> there, everyone's been completely disarmed in their disagreement. Yeah. Um, yeah. But look, you know, when... Okay, so 9-2 release date or 10 expansion announcement, you know, to both he said, when it's ready. Mm-hmm. Um, I think 9-2 is getting ready, actually. Yeah, pretty I mean, soon. I would, yeah, I would substantially hope so, at least. Ah. So there, there's that, and then for 10 I mean... You could maybe read into that and say, oh, there we go, Q1 2023. I think it would be too much to say that just now. Yeah. Um, but if it ended up being Q1 2023, it would probably be a better expansion. Yeah. Well, that would probably yeah. be better. Yeah. So thankfully, we actually, well, now this isn't really quite fair, but there is some information later on that we can look at for uh, what does when it's ready mean for 10.0, uh, but it's, you know, not very conclusive. Just some, oh. just some earnings call stuff about how they word specific things. Uh, let's see. So uh, there's something in chat I want to say. Oh yeah, when it's ready, they release Shadowlands and it still ain't ready. That's the point. They released it when it wasn't ready. They released it a month after it wasn't ready and a month wasn't enough to get it ready. They released it because they had to in that quarter. That's the entire vibe I think everyone in the entire world has about it because there's no way the development team and like producers looked at that and went, that's ready. 100%. I think they would have liked to have substantially more time to work on it, and that would have been better for all of us. But, you know, the shift to them, you know, philosophically being able to say when it's ready as opposed to, uh, uh don't leave, here's content. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm happy with when it's ready. I think uh, a little bit of waiting time is probably good. Now, it'll definitely sting. Any waiting time will definitely sting because a lot of other MMOs are having major launches. Now, in fairness, they're all having their major launches really before WoW yeah. could potentially even have an expansion. Guild Wars 2 the end of this month. We've got SWOTOR in the 15th. We've obviously got Lost Ark uh, Head Start on the 8th. Tuesday. Uh, then in June, we have got the next chapter, which is Elder Scrolls Online's name for an expansion. Mm. Um, so it really is just MMO madness for the first half of this year. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, when for, for WoW? Hmm. I'm happy to wait. I am absolutely happy to wait. And if we think about Activision Blizzard, you know, whenever that's Activision Blizzard, a, you know, a big Bobby company, Mm -hmm. what happens? Well, they, I mean, I do have to talk quickly about Call of Duty here, and I know you don't really give a shit, but it's important because it's the same, like, upper company, right? I think. So they had Infinity Ward working on Modern Warfare 2019, New engine, trying to be almost like Call of Duty meets Catherine Bigelow, and they sort of succeed at that very briefly, and then they completely <laughs> drop the ball, but whatever. The game is... Re- uh, pros don't like it, but most of the casual people really, really like it. It sells super, super well. Happy, happy, happy. Um, and then the next game, uh, Black Ops Cold War, is a bit of a shit show. It's Warzone integration is a bit of a shit show. Evidently, that was like, hey, we have two minutes to cobble a game together out of nothing. Shit. That's what happened to that one. And then Call of Duty Vanguard also had a extremely troubled development to the point where that's even called up in the earnings call. So they made loads of short-term decisions, even to the point of hurting Call of Duty. Call of Duty's like infinite money. Infinite money. So they were willing to like hurt fucking COD in order to get some more beans in a quarter. (laughs) Do you think the company that does that will delay a WoW expansion? until it's good. No, they'll delay it until it's a shippable product. The fucking bare minimum shippable uh, shippable product, which is what Shadowlands was. So we then think about Microsoft. Hmm. Were they willing to, you know, pull a COD Blops cow or a, a COD Vanguard? Were they willing to do that to Mr. John Halo? No, they said John Halo... You're not ready yet. We're going to release you a year later. And thus, they basically humongously injured the launch of their big new console. Oh, they crippled it? like Because they knew they had to have Halo be good. Yeah. Now, if Microsoft... Like, 
we're playing a Microsoft game once it goes through, right? Yeah. Like friggin' Windows World of Warcraft, whatever. We're playing a Microsoft game. So, you know, with Halo, like they were willing to give it a year. And yes, you're all right in chat. It definitely is missing things, but mm. we can at least agree that the core gameplay experience is super, super, super tight. Yeah. Like the bits that shipped are at that extremely high level of quality without like the junk. I mean, obviously their progression and stuff is junk. The customization is kind of junk, but the actual video game bit's great. Um, whereas, you know, you look at Shadowlands and it's like the video game bit was often suspect and had weird hmm. bits to it. Um, so, you know, if they were willing to do that, is there a way where, you know, they're willing to do that for World of Warcraft? Now you might say, well, it's wow, it's a sub game. You cannot expect people to pay 12 months for nothing. So, you know, maybe what they do is they say, all right, well, how about you guys try to do maybe a, a 0.2, 0 0.5, mm -hmm. you know, patch, which I mean, there is a 9.2.5 yep. yeah, coming. Like confirmed. You know, maybe Microsoft or, you know, maybe they're allowed to actually do more of an epilogue. Maybe they're allowed to just have some more time. And, yeah. you know, maybe they have to stretch a bit of content out a bit long. And a few subs drop, maybe it means new expansion mm -hmm. is good. Because I don't think WoW needs to be a 10 out of 10. You yeah. know? Right now, we have, like, busted... Or at the start of Shadowlands, we had busted E3 demo Halo version of World of Warcraft. Hmm. What yeah. we need isn't Halo Infinite that has perfect everything and a co-op campaign and Forge mode and everything from launch. What we need is a World of Warcraft that, you know, maybe it won't have absolutely everything we'd want, but, like, what is there is really well polished, is really good, doesn't have you know, big issues, right? It's like, we just want WoW without the asterisks, without the ifs and the ands and the buts. Yeah. Um, so if Microsoft was willing to delay, that'd be great. Yep. And I mean, I think one thing, uh, one thing is interesting is, uh, I'm not sure how much to read into this because obviously people had issues with, um, you know, internally people were speaking up and having some issues with uh, Ibarra being relatively quiet as a leader. Initially, not really addressing employee concerns immediately after he joined in August in the, you know, in the most uh, turbulent time Activision's ever had, but, well, Blizzard's ever had, rather, but this is, you know, because I saw, I think it was Artemisian in chat, talking about, you know, they've they've been happy to release other things when they weren't ready. How can we trust them now when they say when it's ready? And this is Mike Barra who, you know, left Xbox to join them a couple of years ago. Now he's a leader. This is his first time saying when it's ready. So they have all of the incentive in the world for this new person, who's now leading the company, for his words to have weight. And I think, you know, I think it, the, without giving them, you know, without taking massive hits of copium, there is a way to give them some benefit of the doubt. Because otherwise, you know, they're just going to do the same thing unless we kind of, you know, offer a little bit of an olive ranch in a sense. Mm -hmm. Possibly, maybe, but yeah.